speak about the conversion to Judaism. So many people write me that they want to convert to Judaism. And I don't know how to deal with all of it because without meeting someone in person, how can you convert them? I tried to explain this. And then they tell me they go to rabbis and they feel abused and unwarranted hatred towards them. But they don't necessarily realize how the conversion process is supposed to take place. And I will try to explain it and shed light and hopefully mend some of the wounds that you might have experienced while trying to convert to Judaism. You have to understand that Hashem did not seek out people to convert to Judaism. He picked the Jewish people and He gave them the Torah and the other nations did not want the Torah. And Hashem was fine with that. He requested of them that they would just hold by the seven laws of Noah. And so, for those that that's not good enough, they feel empty and they need more, the conversion process could be something to think about. But it's not for everyone. And we discourage it because, how do you say this? If a person is not going to go all the way in something, 100%, then it's better that they don't go in that way when it comes to something like conversion. Because the Jewish people already have unfortunately students congregants that are not doing all the laws like they should and we don't need more of it already a person who trans a Jewish person who transgresses one of the 365 commandments it pulls the entire Jewish nation down it hurts us tremendously and so for you to convert and not convert to Orthodox, to the full manners of the law, is only to hurt the Jewish people. And we don't want that. And Hashem is, not, all the other movements, all the other religions, they convert people, they seek this out. They find this a Jewish, joyous event. But the Jewish people, we're not seeking this out because the people that are right, that should convert in their heart, they will not be able to live without it. To such an extent that when a rabbi, they go to the rabbi and the rabbi tells them, I'm sorry, I don't want to convert you. It's, you, I don't think you're ready. They wouldn't be able to take no for an answer. Their soul belongs with the Jewish people. And they know it and they're willing to go 100% to for Orthodox. And this is how the rabbis know that this person should make it. And unfortunately, there's a lot of politics involved today because, you know, the even Israel does not accept conversion so quickly anymore because there were tens of thousands of Russians that came in who weren't even Jewish that just made fake conversions just to come and live here and get out of the USSR and they're very picky about the conversions but maybe it's rightfully so in that this difficulty this difficulty makes it so that the people are not really meant to be a Jewish person they don't convert. They stick with the seven laws because there's nothing wrong with the seven laws. It's enough light for the non-Jew. But those who convert to Judaism were told to treat them as if they are 100% equal, as if they did not convert, but they were always Jewish. And we do so. We try to do so. And it's important to do so. And we're told that they are very high people, that they're bringing light from the darkness to bring it from the other world, from the law, from the world of Tuma, the world of impurity, to Kedusha, to holiness, is a great thing. It's a great thing. So it's a holy thing when people convert to Judaism. But God forbid, many times people are converted, and then they go back the other way, and they give up their conversion. And this tears apart many, many worlds. It's a great sorrow for the Jewish people. And so you might ask, what is the process of conversion? What do you have to do to be a Jewish person? And so the study begins with the learning the Bible, and learning the alumni of the Jewish law.
person has to, to keep, like the Shabbos, the laws of Sabbath, and it takes years of learning, and a person should not learn this all on their own. They have to learn from a teacher, from a guide, and many times the Chabad movement, the Chabad houses, have classes for a conversion. We do not just take anyone in who thinks the, Jew, the Jewish religion is cute or nice, and we tell them that it's very hard to be Jewish. You have to keep all the laws to keep the Shabbos. You can't just keep the laws that you want that they don't want. And most people convert, that's what they end up doing. They only keep some of the laws, the ones that are easy for them. That's not Judaism. If that's what you're going to do, don't convert. Please, don't. Like I said, it, it hurts the Jewish people. If a person comes into the religion only to sin, we're talking about going from seven laws that you have to keep to 613. My friends, if you're not keeping the seven, don't go for 613. You can't keep 612, my friends. You have to keep 613. And so this is the process of conversion. It takes years of time and devotion. A whole change of the life. The women have to keep separate from the men, follow, follow the laws of Tahara, purity, and men, they have to do this as well. And this is very difficult, it's not fun and games, it's work to be holy, to be a holy Jew. Obviously these benefits are worthwhile, We, a Jewish person should be happy as a Jew that he has these commandments, and they can be closer to God, and certainly a Jewish person is closer to Hashem. Now, one thing that bothers me always is that a lot of times a person wants to convert and they start learning Kabbalah. Kabbalah has nothing to do with the conversion process. And that is Yitz Zahara, that's the evil nation. You're not allowed to learn. Half the things on my website I tell you, I beg you, please don't learn them if, they don't pertain, if it doesn't pertain to the laws of conversion. It's wrong to learn them. You're hurting me, you're hurting the Jewish people, you're hurting yourself. You're bringing too much light into your body, into your soul, and it's wrong. But learning the laws for conversion that a person needs, that's important, that's a good thing. Learning, seeing some of the videos, reading some of the teachings that are just on spirituality, some of, them, that, some of that is okay, and it could be good to, towards your conversion process. But please, don't go too far learning the svarim that don't pertain to what you need. But learn what, is, what the rabbis who are guiding you in your conversion tell you to learn.